I'm Felix, and today I'm going to be talking about gender dysphoria. Uh, my personal definition of gender dysphoria is the anxiety or distress caused by the friction between your assigned gender at birth and your self-identity. So when people talk about gender dysphoria, a lot of the time they talk about body dysphoria versus social dysphoria, and the difference between the two is basically body dysphoria is distress you feel about particular parts of your body, whereas social dysphoria is dysphoria regarding how you are treated in society and people misgendering you and other people's opinions on you affecting how you feel. Uh, and those are really useful ways to talk about dysphoria. They're useful distinctions to make, uh, but they're not mutually exclusive and they're not like two concrete things that never overlap. Um, it's more complicated than that. Real quick example of that is that I'm dysphoric about my chest. I'm wearing a binder right now. It really makes me feel really nice about myself. It makes me feel really nice about myself even when no one else is around. But ultimately, I don't feel that I have body dysphoria regarding my chest. I feel that my by my chest dysphoria is social in in origin because I'm upset that people view my chest as womanly and they view breasts as womanly and that's why I'm dysphoric about it. It's not just the fact of, the, of my body configuration that upsets me, it's how I'm treated based on my body configuration. Uh, if I hang out with only trans people, I don't care so much if I'm wearing a binder or not because I know that they're going to gender me correctly no matter what and they're going to respect my gender and they see me as non-binary. Um, whereas when I hang out with mostly cis people, I am very concerned that if I don't ride that invisible line um, of gender ambiguity, that I'm going to get misgendered and people are going to treat me as a gender that I'm not. And that is very un uncomfortable and it's very... It freaks me out and sometimes I'm up till 3 a.m. just like having a dysphoria attack. It sucks. But the other big thing I wanted to talk about today, this idea of do you need dysphoria to be trans or have it or is gender dysphoria the same thing as being trans to which I would say no to both questions for a couple of reasons let me talk about them uh, one not gen gender dysphoria the concept not the diagnosis gender dysphoria is something that is felt by people who are not trans um, there are genderqueer people who feel gender dysphoria but don't identify as trans. There are cis people who feel gender dysphoria. Um, and then obviously there are a lot of trans people who don't feel that they have body dysphoria or maybe even social dysphoria. They don't feel like they have either of those things. Um, and then the question of what then makes them trans is generally anything else. Uh, the idea that only people who, ex who express gender dysphoria are trans is shitty for a bunch of different reasons. One of them is that it's prioritizing one specific idea of transness, and it's a very medical model of transness. It's a very Western model of transness. Um, it's a very negative uh, idea of transness, too. It's like, you can only be trans if your life sucks. You can, you're only allowed to escape the cis default if it's literally impossible for you to exist inside of it. You're only, you're only, you only deserve relief from your, the cis mold if you're in enough pain. And that's really disgusting. I mean, have these people never heard of gender euphoria? Like, do you just want, why, why does being trans have to be this universally horrible thing? And I mean, dysphoria does suck. And I hate it, but I don't, feel that that's my entire trans experience. I don't feel like being trans itself is a horrible thing. And there are a lot of positive things about it. So I think that this idea that feeling shitty about yourself is transness is, I hate it, it's disgusting. Pain is not the rent you pay to escape your assigned gender. It's just not, you can be happy and trans. I'm Felix and this is my TED talk. Um, no. Thank you for listening. If you have comments, if you want to add to the discussion, please comment in the video. Please make a video of your own. Let's have a conversation. Um, and as always, thanks for listening to me rant about stuff. See you later.